What is going on guys? Joe Hoyt back with you today. I am bringing you the seventh episode of the Be a GM series. Now in the last video you saw the off season where we made a, uh, a lot of moves and uh, I didn't show a lot of it mainly because it was boring and uh, I was looking for certain things and I was just looking for guys to put on our team. So I didn't really want to bore you with all of that so I did cut a lot of it out. So I did come or simulate after the preseason, made all the roster moves and all the other good stuff. So you guys don't have to uh, be bored by it. But I will show you real quick what we're going to start the uh, off season or the preseason with, excuse me. And uh, it, it looks a little bit different from last year. I know that um, we did make the trade uh, for Andre Sequeira or for the most part. And we also got Mike Richards in the trade. So he's going to be playing our third line center position. Now, you may be asking, where is Curtis Lazar? I did send him down to Binghamton in the AHL, uh, mainly because I think that's going to be better for him than playing up here on the third line and getting some average points. Uh, so I think he'll be better if he starts out down there, gets a couple good seasons under him, then we'll bring him up, uh, something like that. But uh, we did have Shea San in 84 overall. He did jump up a little bit, and uh, I added Contra back to the mix because he wanted like no money. So I put him back on the fourth line. So our defense looks a little bit different than last year. Uh, Sakara now with uh, paired up with Carlson, Spiza, and CC, and then Weirkoch with Griba. Now we did get rid of Mathot and Phillips uh, in the offseason to get Sakara so he could play on the first line with Carlson. Now um, Griba, uh, if you look at our depth guys, uh, we don't have too many of them, and they're all around the same overall. So I figured Griba being the uh, most sensible or i don't even know what the word i want to use is but the most uh or the the best decision uh to put in that third line defensive spot so we always could improve it now i know in 84 on the fourth line or on the th excuse me the third line uh we probably should upgrade that uh spot at some point to either two-way uh defenseman or an offensive defenseman uh so that could be something to look for in the future we did draft a couple of guys that are offensive based defensemen so eventually in that situation, we will um, swap them out. Now our goalies have not changed. Anderson and Leonard. Leonard jumped up one overall. Uh, but other than that, uh, nothing really changed. In the AHL, I'm not going to go through the lines too much. I'll do the same thing though. Uh, you see it. Lazar is playing up here on the first line with the kid line, I think you want to call it. But other than that, I just put in the potential guys and um, the guys that I think are going to have the best chance of uh, developing and uh, so maybe becoming one part of Ottawa someday. And then defense, we have a couple guys in here. Now you, uh, you may ask, uh, who else do you have? Because I don't have everyone in the lineup. Uh, but I, there is a couple guys I do have for depth, uh, just in case in the playoffs. We do need them. Uh, but there's uh, not a lot of guys that uh, are older and whatever. So defense or uh, goalie situation, we still have uh, Hammond uh, in our goal. Uh, but I did just change uh, Dreger. So... Uh, He's going to be backing up down there because with his three green star uh, potential, uh, he should provide us the best chance down there to improve. So on that note, I will go ahead and start simulating. Now the preseason doesn't really matter too, too much. Uh, usually, uh, I shouldn't say usually, but sometimes I call up all the AHL guys and just have them play a couple games and start filling the NHL guys back in like they do in real life kind of. Uh, but uh, it doesn't really seem to help them too, too much. So I just kind of stick with the NHL guys, just get them playing together, get the chemistry going, and uh, start winning some games. So we started out 4-0 uh, in the preseason. So last year, in case you guys missed the first couple of episodes or whatever, I recommend going back and watching them. Uh, but if you want a quick spoiler, we did end up losing in the playoffs to Detroit 4-2. to And uh, it was a very, very rough uh, off season for the general manager like myself. So... We start out the season. We went, what was it, five and two? It looks like, yeah, five and two in the preseason. But that really doesn't matter. But we are going to simulate the first month at least, and we're going to go up to November first. Let's see how our team does uh, stacking against this, or how our new team stacks against this uh, new NHL this year. Now I don't remember uh, where McDavid went. I know Jack Eichel is not in the game, so uh, McDavid. I don't know what team he went, but he should be. Uh, about a 74 or something like that overall. So he probably won't be playing the NHL uh, or the AHL this year for that matter. Uh, but we started out 1-2, and two, then go 2-2. Two and two. So 
I don't know what to think about this team yet. I mean, we're kind of even right now. So usually there are some teams that go even or go 0-4 at this point uh, or even go 4-0. But uh, it's the first month. You can't really uh, expect too, too much from uh, teams and uh, expect them to go perfect uh, right off the gate. Now, some teams, that's a different case. But our team tends to be not that great to begin the first couple of months. Then we start getting it together. And then we either completely lose or we... Uh, Fight back for the playoffs. So we have Bobby Ryan leading the way in goals. We have Danny Heatley leading the way in assists, which is kind of weird because we got him for goal scoring, which was it's kind of weird. So uh, scouting, uh, I wish there was a different system where it'd like automatically do it, uh, but there's not the case in this game. So we'll just kind of go along. Uh, three and four, we'll go up to. What is it? November 1st. 3 and 5. We are losing like crazy right now. Now you may see Dylan Strom is in the NHL, but he is not playing. So hopefully eventually uh, sometime in the season I can set him down without having him go down to juniors and have him play uh, in the AHL. But I, I don't think juniors, I think it's just the, the whole, uh, like it doesn't really change anything. I think it just like, you send him there to get him off your roster, but it still counts against your roster. I don't, I don't know, but it doesn't seem to help them at all, really. I mean, going down the AHL, I think it's more beneficial than ha making them go back to juniors in this game because it doesn't help it at all. But five and five, I don't really know what to think about this team. Uh, we'll go another month uh, and see what happens after that, and we'll check stats and all that other good stuff and make line changes if we need to. Now, Craig Anderson leading the way in four, uh, four wins. That means Leonard has two. So hopefully uh, at some point someone or one of our goalies starts going off and starts doing incredible. So that way we can make a run towards the playoffs. Now what's weird is Danny Healy is still leading the way in assists. Now I think I do have him on the power play. Uh, I don't remember if it's a first team or second. But uh, unless he's getting all of his assists from there. Uh, I'm not sure how he's getting so many because he's playing online with uh, Mike Richards and Alex Chieson. Now, I don't think he would be the passer on that line. I I think he'd be more of a scorer. But uh, at nine and seven, he's got to be doing something right. I mean, we are still going uh, positive as far as the wins go, and we haven't had an overtime loss yet, so that's always good. Uh, but obviously overtime is turned on because Florida just had one. But 11-7, we are on a couple game win streak here, which is good. But it does end versus Washington. But, wow. 11-8, and eight, uh, Craig Anderson leading the way in goals still. Uh, two losses in a row, allowed six goals each. That's not very good. Uh, Buffalo, come on. We, ha we have to beat Buffalo. I mean, come on. And we do by one goal. Which is surprising. But alright, Bobby Ryan is stepping up. Now, I did not change that first line at all from last year with MacArthur, Turris, and Ryan. Now, I had some questions about Ryan that uh, he wasn't really scoring the way his uh, of a top caliber sniper that he's supposed to be. But uh, 30 points so far in 23 games. 14 goals to be uh, even like ahead of him there, but no one cares about the uh, things. But obviously, we we know Bobby Ryan's performed, but who else is performing too? Uh, we gotta check this. Uh, we are going 13-11, so we're kind of in the same boat as last year uh, as far as wins go. But Bobby Ryan, jeez. All right, so Ryan or er, uh, excuse me, Turris is still performing very very well. Mike Richards is not. So we might make a change there. Now he's making tons of money, so it's going to be kind of difficult to trade him. But Danny Heatley is performing very, very well. Now, hmm, Hoffman. What the heck? All right, so Stone looks like he's not performing. So I think I have a, a not a trade, but a change in mind. Now, Eric Griba, he isn't getting points. He is going negative. So I was going to say, if we're going to improve anything... Uh, it might as well be that uh, that last defensive spot because Weirkoch is obviously putting up points. 
but when Grab isn't helping him at all, uh, that obviously needs to change. So we do have some depth guys uh, in Binghamton. We can we could bring up a change, so we don't have to make trades right away. But uh, Anderson is not doing that great. So our goalies aren't doing too too well. I mean, Leonard is going even and has a better save percentage right now. But uh, we definitely need more of our goalies right now, along with uh, the guys that aren't performing. So we might end up shaking up the lines a little bit just to see how everything goes. Uh, now, what I usually don't do is like mark down stats and everything and uh, check later in the season. But with our team struggling right now, uh, we definitely need something to improve. Uh, so I'm not going to go too into the uh, stats as Binghamton. I just wanted to see if anybody's performing uh, good enough to uh, even bring them up and uh, perform. But this is what I mean with Curtis Lazar. Uh, last year he had, uh, what was it? Let's check real quick. 17 points. Uh, in 82 games. He already has 19 and 22 for Binghamton. So I do want him to get uh, a little bit better and uh, grow down in Binghamton. Now, 19 points, it's not bad at all, but obviously if he wants to play in the NHL, he's going to need to uh, perform up there as well. Um, but huh. Hammond's not doing that great either. Obviously, he's still doing good, but he's not doing great like we need him to. Um, so I'm not really sure. But let's make a couple of line changes. And then I will probably either wrap up the video or simulate another month and then wrap it up. So this line I think is fine. But this uh, this next line I don't think it's working very well. Uh, so we need to change this up a little bit. So Danny Heatley is getting a lot of assists. Now Mike Richards is obviously not working on this line. So huh, what should we do? Now Greening going to be out of here this year. Okay, so fourth line numbers, uh, well, as far as I know, Green's going to be out of here this year. If not, then we'll resign him if he wants low enough money. If not, then we'll find somebody to replace him. But uh, I definitely think Mike Richards needs upgrading in this spot. Now, I was thinking about it. I know uh, Peugeot is down in Binghamton. Now, I kind of want to try this, and I kind of don't. But uh, we could potentially make that line no we actually couldn't because we have to bring up Lazar also but I don't want to do that at this moment but uh, Shea sound I don't remember what you're doing uh, 10 points you are performing is I don't think stone is though right no nine points it's still not bad but we definitely need some more so here's what I'm thinking so let's move stone down to the third line switch him over there I'll, I'll just do it and then I'll, and I'll show you guys what I'm thinking here so we now we have this situation so now this should be a scoring line because Hoffman's a scorer Danny Heatley's putting up assists so in mean, 24 points in 25 games for that was playing on the third line is absolutely incredible so I actually kind of want to do this and then some do something with this spot with Condra's spot now we could put Shea Sun up there and we could uh, do a couple of different things here. But, so we're actually just going to scratch Grive up here. And then see if Portuzo does anything there. So, I think that's good for now. Uh, we are going to simulate one more month. And then I'm going to uh, stop the video. Um, but, going up to January 1st. Hopefully these line changes work. Uh, and we don't have to uh, make anything dramatically change wise. Now, with our team right now, 13-11-1, uh, last year, I think at January 1st, we were somewhere on the lines of 19, I think, no, it was 19-13-1 or something like that, 19-11, something, somewhere around there. So, obviously, we are sh not struggling, but the first couple of months uh, in this series, or in the seasons, I should say, uh, we do struggle. So, hopefully, we can uh, turn it around in this season. So I will check the standings afterwards too because I don't seem to do that a lot. But our first line, it looks like it's still performing. Turris is finally up there in assists. Uh, so Ryan and Turris seem to be working well together. MacArthur is leading the way in plus minus. And uh, Anderson leading the way in. Uh, wow. I just realized Anderson has all but two wins. When we checked before, Leonard was two and two. So that means Leonard is probably not performing. So we might end up having to bring up Hammond and uh, hopefully he can go on that crazy run like he did in real life. 
I mean, 16, 14, and 2. We got to try something here to, in order to uh, get the wins that we need. Now, I know, obviously, last year we ended up making the playoffs, but in, uh, teams like the Rangers won wow, any more games in this video. But the Islanders, we end up finishing off uh, the simulation with so ottawa we are in the atlantic division we are one point out of fourth place so we still are in the playoff or playoff race i should say and uh with a couple wins we could be in second but the rangers and detroit seem to be locking that down now i actually wanted to check what the record was 23 9 and 5 now what that, that, that's incredible so it looks like we don't have any leaders on the board, but we will go check stats one more time, and then I will. Kane is still performing. Carlson looks like he's stepping up again. I don't remember what he had before, but it looks like he's stepping up. Zabanajet, I guess, put up a bunch more points. Uh, Zach Smith, uh, okay. Pajot has put up two points, two assists. That's not bad at all. Uh, left wing, Danny Heatley still leading the way. Hoffman looks like he's jumped up a little bit. MacArthur is kind of. I think he was in the same boat. Uh, and then Greening hasn't really done too much. Uh, Condra, obviously, we took him out of the lineup. Chieson, Stone. Stone's starting to do a little bit better, which is good. Uh, so that's what we're looking for. Now, our defense, Bortuzzo, did not do anything. So, hmm. We might leave him in one more month. And if he doesn't do anything, then we'll look to trade uh, for a more mobile person. But Leonard, uh, eight games played. I want him to get a couple more games in. But, uh... Neither of them are going terrible. I mean, uh, goals for we are top five. We are actually top four by one. Uh, so we are competing with the top teams as far as goals. Uh, we have good goals uh, per game. This is the problem. We're allowing way too many goals against. Uh, so Okay, so we are scoring a lot of goals, but we are allowing a lot of goals as well. Our power play, top of the league, uh, 43 power play goals. We are, we are getting a lot. Second in percentage, uh, we are getting a lot of shorthanded goals against as well, which is not good. Uh, we are not, oh. But even then, we are still, we are staying pretty disciplined, which is good. We don't really have shorthanded goals for, but I, I don't really care about that too much. Either way, guys, I think I'm going to end the video there. Uh, next video, we will simulate probably up to the trade deadline. Uh, if not past that, uh, we will probably look for a trade in between the video uh, to improve uh, that last line defensive spot. Because if we do, then uh, that will mean uh, we have a pretty good solid uh, solid defense uh, to go behind the rest of our team. Plus, we are allowing way too many goals. So I will look to uh, change a lot of things. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment to what you think uh, and maybe even who should we pick up. And uh, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Anyway, guys, that's it in the video, and I'll see you later.